All right, well, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name's Trey Harvey. I've uh, been doing leather working for, I guess, maybe a year now. Uh, the other day, I uh, tried to do some researching on the arrow basket weave technique and couldn't find much on it. So today I'm gonna do a video on that. So hope you like it. Here we go. So I have my uh, basket weave. Uh, let's I'm going to use the, uh, the diamond today. There we go. And we're going to do a card swatch. I follow a lot of Aaron on uh, Maker's Leather Supply. He does a lot of card swatches for patterns and stuff like that. So I already got it cut out. I'm going to be using 7 to 8 ounce Herman Oak today. Let me find my spray bottle. Go ahead and wet this down a little bit. So I found the best technique was to already have you a straight edge, which we do, and then just draw you a line. Grab my ball. Go. Start right there, just lightly do your straight line. And then what I do, what I found out was that you want to get on your line. Here's my line. So what I do is place my basket weave stamp on here. My back, I lift it up at an angle, and I barely push, make my indentions on both sides of my line. As you can see, I have both of my indentions there, and my middle one in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna angle it straight from my line to my indention, as so. And you have a good angle. And just continue that. I like to flip my project around and it's best to go with the flow of the arrow. So we have our first two. The next, you just, just like a regular basket weave, you go into the next prong, next little foot, and just keep moving along. And here we go. I'm probably gonna fast forward the video that way you don't have to see me stamping. All right, we have our first row. Get some good light in there. Oops. Now, what I tend to do now is I get my straight edge ruler. And I find where all of my 
feet and I line my ruler up with those just at the end and I scribe just a simple line that's where I go off for my next arrows and I just do the same thing following the direction I will place my stamp on there to figure out my angle go we have our second set of arrows I'm gonna continue on till I have the rest of the swatch complete Sometimes when you know you're coming off of the uh, end of the project, I tend to go to, to the top, figure out where I need to put my angle at. Here we go. There's pretty much the end of it, and I may come back, but then again, I'll come with my backgrounding tool and go around the edge, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching.